So here we have a Brother A3 printer. Model number is MFC J6910W. Quite a large printer, scanner copier, A3. So it's a very versatile machine. Uh, but the print quality is not fantastic. So we will need to do a cleaning cycle or cycles to get this back to its former glory. So we are going to do a test print and for that you need to be going uh, into this little menu here. It doesn't look like a menu but it is just where the ink icon is there. So if you press that and go to test print, just press test print and then that will print out the test page. So let's take a look at the results from the test page that's been printed. Uh, not fantastic. As you can see there, there's supposed to be text at the top. The blue and the yellow doesn't look too bad, but it's still not right. The black is awful and that's the quality of the text. So it looks like we need to repeat this process. The next step is to start the cleaning process. So that's the next option down in the menu, down from test print and press on that, you'll be given the option to clean the black, the colour, or both. We'll choose both. So this is doing the cleaning cycle. This will take a while, but just let it, just let it do its stuff, and then let's see how it turns out. So this is the second test print. As you can see, the black has got a little bit better. That you can see, however, and the, there seems to be a bit of a gap there. The quality is getting better, but I don't know what this is about. So let's um, do another one. So we've run the cleaning process a few times. I just wanted to lay everything out and show you the difference in the, pin, in the print quality as you've gone along and cleaned and visually the print has got better and better so this was the first example not the best missing lines missing a color completely the black looks awful gets gradually better we're missing a section there and at the top and then it gets to that which then leads to that so things are getting just a little bit better every time that one there visually you've got the magenta we seem to have lost the blue for some reason and you've got the icon at the bottom the black seems to have got a little bit worse uh, but the magenta is coming back again things are getting better again on this one on this one again those colors are coming on nicely still seem to have this gap here for some reason then we're on to this one then we're on to that one so we're nearly there apart from that gap and on the final clean and test print we got a perfect test print so logo nice clear blacks all the colors all complete And then that was the run that we had to do to get to that. So as you can see, it's taken 11 whole cycles of test prints to get a perfect printout and get this thing back to working condition. So, as you can see from watching the video, it's not always a case of that the ink is the issue. Clean and test the printer um, and see what sort of a result you're getting from that. If you're getting a blank page, then it's worth doing the clean and test function a couple of times. Just that might be able to just get that ink wet and it might just kickstart it. If you're still not getting anything, then it could be a case of that the inks have just dried out, uh, in which case you will need to replace the inks. But it's not always the ink. Sometimes it's just a case of 
it just needs a good clean and as you can see from the video you may need to clean it a few times um, so don't automatically go out and buy that ink and assume that's the issue sometimes like the little display shows there is ink in there um, it's just not getting through and it's just that cleaning cycle which can sometimes kick it back to life thank you for watching i hope you got some value from that really appreciate your time if you liked the video please give it a like please hit that subscribe button now and also the notification button so you don't miss out on any more tips like this.